In this video, I'll show you how to add a free map to your website like this one. This will work in WordPress and HTML as I will provide you a code to copy and paste. We will use a map from TomTom which is super easy to set up and you don't need a credit card to start with this. And in general, if you are a small website, it's totally free. The cool thing about this map is that you can customize the pin itself. So you could have your logo or pizza, or whatever you want. So I'm gonna show you how to do that too. Tip sweat punch. <laughs> Hello, Indian people. My name is Robert, and this video is sponsored by TomTom. With TomTom's map and location technology, you can easily launch a web or mobile application because besides traditional maps, you can do cool location related things like, I don't know, receive directions, find places and show real time traffic and just stuff like that with maps. So let's start by signing up with TomTom developer portal and getting the API key. Just head to the description of this video and click on the first link. And you'll land on this page, which is the TomTom developer portal. And all we need to do here is just register. Just click on this register button on top. And then just fill in your details here. So full name, then the give it a username, email, and then some password. And obviously accept the terms and conditions. And once you're ready, just click on this button, register. Once you register, you should land on this page. And as you can see, you already have the API key here. This is what we need. In case you don't see this page, just click on the dashboard here on the left, keys. That's all you need to click and you should end up here as well. We're gonna need this one in just a second. But before that, one more thing here. If you wanna whitelist the domain, then you should change it here. What that means then that only your domain can access this. And I advise you doing this because otherwise anybody can grab this API key and use it for their own website and spend your limits. If you enable it here, you can put in your domain. So in my case, it's storemonkey.com. And just in case, you can also add more here. If you don't need to just restrict to one domain name, you can have multiple. Uh, so don't forget to add, if you have multiple subdomains, that then you need to add star.storm like this so you have your domain name but in front there's a star and dot this will cover all your subdomains but for me i don't need this so i'm gonna delete this one save the key in the description of this video there's a second link that will take you to this page with all this code this is the code that you're gonna place on your website so let's just copy all of this so i'm gonna copy it all like this and right click copy and then I'm going to open up a note, notepad or any text editing software you have. And then just paste the code here. You can ignore pretty much everything except there's a four lines that you need to change. And these are the lines. So you have the API key, latitude and longitude uh, values, zoom level and your address. Let's start by uh, changing the API key. That's easy because we already have it here in the web portal. Let's copy it. We go to the notepad. You need to place this code in between the quote marks. So like this, so you need to keep the quote marks. You see, then we need the latitude longitude of our place. And there'll be another link in the description to come to this uh, page. But basically this will give us the latitude and longitude of your selected place. So now you can just search for your location here. So let's say in my case, I want to have in my case, I just grabbed the address going to paste it in here. I think this is not even real address in terms of like the postcode, but I'm going to select some from here. Okay. Brooklyn, New York. Yes. And what you see now, once I have selected it from here, so you need to click on this one. Then you see here you have the latitude and longitude. So let's grab this one first. Copy. And bring it to our notepad. We put it here like this. And then same thing with longitude. Let's grab it. We go to here and paste it in here. Now your numbers might be completely different. So you could have a hundred here or you might have a minus in latitude. That's fine. It, it really depends on your location. And make sure that you have this comma here and that it's between this uh, curly brackets. Zoom level you can leave for now for uh, at 14, but you can later adjust it if you want to either zoom more into the map or then uh, zoom out of it. 
All right, and now you just need to type in your address here. I ain't gonna play, place it here. Again, you need to put it in between the quote marks, you see? So now this one is the one that will appear in the little box above the pin. You'll see it in a second. And now we are ready to test this out. So now we can grab this whole code. I'm gonna copy it. And I'm gonna head to my WordPress dashboard. And I have here already a page open, which is the contact me. And in this case, this is a just a test site, so it's not actually me. But anyway, I want to have a map here between these two blocks. And again, this works in HTML or any other page builder the same. I'm using Elementor, but it doesn't matter. But so first of all, you just need to create in Elementor, you create a new section here. And then you just search for HTML. And then just drag it to the right place. Again, if you're using another page builder, just grab HTML block, they all have it. And then you paste it in the code in here. Now you should start seeing the map here, maybe not immediately, but what we can see if I uh, update this, and then let's go and see these changes. You'll notice we have a map here. Pretty cool, right? So you can see that you can zoom, unzoom, and as I mentioned before, the zoom level is just how much it's zoomed in by default. So you can play around with that if you want to have a bit of a broader view like this. So then you put a smaller number. And if you want a zoomed in version, then you just put a bigger number. Just play, play around with that. Oh, by the way, TomTom Steam has provided me with a coupon code that will give you 10,000 extra queries. Just head to this URL, developer.tomtom.com slash promo. I'll also add it to the description. And here, just add tips with punch to redeem the offer. Uh, remember to use all capital letters. Now, one more thing that is really cool, what you can do in this map is actually have this pin that is a customized to whatever you want. So I can show you how to do that. And we need to just go to the code part again. So this stuff, if you scroll down, you have here, just few the lines like this one and says for custom marker. So if you remove these forward slashes from the three lines here, not from this one, just keep it like this. Otherwise it, it's not going to work. But basically this script just tells it to grab this little marker here that is on my Verb WordPress website right now. It's just a, a, my logo basically. And you'll have to replace this URL with your logo URL. And then it's going to display it. And one more thing what we need to do is we need to add two forward slashes to this one. And this will work now. So I'm, I'm going to grab the whole code. I'm going to head to my Elementor, remove everything and paste it in the new code. Let's update it. And then the page refreshes by itself. You can see that I have now this B, which is basically the logo of my website here. It displays here. So if you're wondering how I displayed this logo, you can just go to your media files or whatever and grab this URL. So now it actually appears here, which is pretty cool, I think. One more thing I want to mention, if you don't like this thing here, that it shows the address like this, uh, you can easily remove it just by coming to your code. You can just add two forward slashes to this and this one. So these two codes, so it's the two last lines. I'll copy the code and then I'm going to paste it in here and update the page like this. You can see now there's no bubble at all. And as I mentioned before, don't forget to utilize the coupon code, which will give you a bit more queries. Just add tips with punch on the promo page and redeem the bonus. By the way, check out TomTom's developer portal YouTube channel by clicking on uh, this button here. Uh, they have advanced map tutorials and how-to videos because you can go really advanced with TomTom Tom maps and create cool location-based apps. And if you're looking for royalty-free images for your website, check out my favorite libraries by clicking on this video right here. Oh,